priming is the idea that an earlier stimulus causes a temporary increase in the accessibility of thoughts and ideas. So when a later stimulus relates to it in some way, the information needed to respond to it is more readily available and therefore it influences the response. The relationship between the earlier and later stimulus can take several forms. For example, repetition priming is when the earlier stimulus is the same as the later stimulus. So the early stimulus temporarily increases the accessibility to this information in your schema, so when you encounter it again, the response is quicker. Semantic priming is when the earlier and later stimuli are different but mean the same thing. For example, a laptop and a computer. They're essentially the same thing, however, they are actually different stimuli. As the earlier stimulus not only temporarily increases accessibility to information relating to it specifically, but also information that is related to it, semantic priming has the same effect. Response to the later stimulus is impacted due to the temporary increase of thoughts and ideas related to the earlier stimulus. Associative priming is when the earlier stimulus is completely different to the later stimulus, however it's connected in some way in our schema. For example, fish and chips. They are completely different, however, they are related in our schema. Similarly to semantic priming, not only does the earlier prime temporarily increase the accessibility of information that is specific to the earlier stimulus, but also related information. So when the later stimulus occurs, that information is more readily available and the response is impacted. Priming is one theory that is used to explain aggressive behaviour. Priming is one theory that is used to explain aggressive behaviour. It is thought that aggression can be primed through the media such as video games. This means when a person plays violent video games, the stimuli in the games cause a temporary increase in accessibility of information relating to them and their contents, including aggressive cognitive scripts. Cognitive scripts are a type of schema that are used to recall how to behave in response to certain stimuli. Therefore, if these aggressive cognitive scripts are temporarily more accessible in our schema, they are more likely to trigger an aggressive response to a later stimulus. We essentially compare the situation to our existing schema, looking for information to help us work out how to respond. So if the most accessible and relevant information is an aggressive action, the chances of an aggressive response are higher. Priming is also used by advertisers to increase the chances of consumers recalling a certain brand. They use a range of stimuli in their adverts to develop a schema associated with their brand. They then aim to prime these stimuli, causing a temporary increase in the accessibility of information related to the brand. This therefore increases the likelihood of a consumer being triggered to recall the brand in response to a later stimulus. For example, McDonald's use iconic colours, shapes and sounds to build a brand image of being family-friendly, fun and inclusive. They use advertising to temporarily increase the accessibility of this information for consumers. So when parents are thinking of buying their children a fun weekend treat, they are more likely to recall the McDonald's brand, as it's associated with these qualities and temporarily more accessible to them due to priming. However, a significant weakness of this concept is that the results of studies are difficult to replicate. This means the evidence to support the concept is fairly unreliable.